Ready, ready, talk that box, and this is Mr. A doing a fight recap of the Dominic Bosell and the Koro Murat fight. Uh, that was for the WBO Intercontinental title. Now, this is where things get very interesting. First, let me go over that fight first. Um, Murat won the fight with a stoppage. Uh, tenth round, I believe it was. This is my second time seeing him. I saw him with the Bernard Hopkins fight, and first time seeing Dominic Bosell, Bozo, Bosell. Now, straight from the beginning, I noticed that Dominic, but well, one Dominic came out the to the ring walk looking like he was just the man, and the crowd treated him like the man. He came out throwing pity pack combinations, you know, nice little, I say out of one, out of one to 10 power punch, they look like a six, just nice combinations. That's, but they look like they were like um, wrist punches. They weren't hard punches. And uh, Murat was just kind of eating them, walk through them. He's, at, he's in at one point, I like, caught in his arms out like, what, that's all you got? And uh, so I gave Dominic the first round for the combinations. He, he was he was able to have the rhythm and the timing of Murat down the first round. But the second round, Murat started putting a little more pressure on him. Even though Murat's punches, Murat, I hope I hope I pronounced the name right, Kuro Murat. I hope the uh, I mean the pressure got broken by Kurat. His punches were a little wide, but they weren't too wide where Dominic would punch through them. But the punches were landing. They were, you know, I wouldn't say they were quite stumbling, but they were having their effect on Dominic. And by the third round, Dominic looked fatigued. He looked worn out. He looked he looked mentally beaten by the pressure and power of Murat. So around seven, he looked even tired. He started getting like punched around. He started stumbling. Uh, his he kept holding his neck down. He either hold his neck down, look at the referee, because that's what he did a lot. He held the referee's neck down. I mean, he held Murat's neck down as went for the referee to break the action. But all he was doing was holding his neck down, not his arm. So Murat was just using his free hands and just beating his body down. And funny, because uh, Dominic was doing that for like round four. Four, maybe five to seven, eight, like three, four rounds just doing this and thinking he's going to get a, a stoppage from the ref, but the ref was just letting him fight and he was getting his own self beat down. But um, yeah, Murat just put the pressure on it and eventually just start hurting him, stumbling him around. And in round 10, the referee just stopped it because Dominic, he, he as from round eight, nine, maybe even seven, he just started looking mentally and physically defeated. You know, you can see it in his punches as he was backpedaling. He was, he didn't want no more of Murat. His punches went from like trying to win to like stay off me punches, please stay away from me punches. They weren't punches a boxer throws to win the fight. They went from like, they went from combination punches to just like pat pat. Pat, 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 one, two, pat. They're really, uh, I quit. I'm trying to survive the best I can punches. Murat put on a hell of a fight. Dominating performance, if you want to say one. Not to say he's a great fighter, but in that fight, he dominated the hell out of Dominic Bussell. He won that WBO Intercontinental. Now, this is where the, I want to pull this up real fast for the double, because it, this division is about to get really, really shooken up here. Now, look, looking at it, you got Andre Ward, who is the champion, and he doesn't quite know what he's going to do since he knocked out Sergey Kovalev, who, get this, is at number one. Number one, and they call him the super champ. So I don't know. This is this is June's rating, so I don't know if it's super champ after the loss because at number two, you have the intercontinental champ, Dominic Bosel. So number one and number two loss. 
Number three is Arthur Biederbeth. Number four, Olander Kukovatsky. And number five is Eric Shogod. Shogod. I think he's fighting soon or just for. I'm not too sure. And number six, you got Sean Monaghan, and he's fighting um, Marcus Brown soon. So that, that's going to change. Number seven, Enrico Coley. You don't know what's going on with him. And number eight, Umar Solomov. He just lost to Damian Hooper on the undercard of the Pacquiao horn fight. So that's another spot that got shaken up. And that was for the international. So the super champ Kovalev lost at number one. The Dominic Bosil, number two. The number eight loss. And those are all belts. And then you got number nine, Richard Barani, the WBO Europe, who's going to fight at the yard. That's a chance of four belts in the top ten to change spots. WBO Lightweight is going to get very interesting. I know I went a little on more than just a fight recap. I thought you guys should know what is going to happen in a WBO Lightweight. This is Mr. A, Double RT Boxing. Please subscribe, share the share the videos, leave the comments, turn that thumb blue if you're watching it on YouTube. Um, Mr. A, thank you for your support. Pass it on. Tell your friends to tell a friend to tell a friend. Get my 24 subscribers up to 300. Please subscribe. Mr. A is out.